Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 39, part 2. It is the 20th of March, 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hello, I'm Adrian. I play Aria. Through it. Oh. We got We're good. Um, yeah, we got most of it. I'm Scott. I'm playing Combat, who is a half-orc smashy smashy paladin. <laughs> I'm Sophie, I play Kitleth Anastasia, a stabby stabby wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart, I play a pacifist reach half elf monk. <laughs> punchy punchy. <A> pacifist reach. <laughs> yeah, so I've got so that I'm right almost going to reach monkey. over for that, but no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, let's move back to where we were. Faitan. Hork! We need battle music, that's what we need. I mean, yeah. Ideally, a uh, free to air battle music. Just move everybody up so I can see the whole fight. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do during this lockdown. Uh, I'll write as a theme song. Good. And actually get it recorded and stuff. I appreciate this, that'd be awesome. If you do that, I'll upload it to the, the channel. I'll we'll slot it into the thing, you know. Mm. Uh, right, so uh, I believe it's Ms. Bluebird who's first. So, um, needless to say, I just look scary. So I'm going to pick up my bow mm -hmm. and uh, go all. <laughs> Dracaris! <Okay. laughs> and, um. I don't know, is any of them that looks a bit. How much does your bow shed light again? Ooh, that's something I've not considered. That will see in your red text for your magic weapon thing. Yeah, Ryan, can I just check something quick with you? Yes. Why does one have a red background and the other two have a yellow background? I don't know. Yeah, that's why I asked if one of them looks scary or whatever. Mm. I mean, I've got these dudes. Mm -hmm. And we've got this dude. I mean, those other two must be ads, right? No. Oh, they are these dudes. No, that one, the one name is this dude. So, yes. I'll tell you a lot on his own. I'm going to go punch this dude. The one in the middle is holding a shield. That's the difference. Yeah. Really yeah. visible. Can we know what can we know what the other two are wielding? I mean, yeah, you can. Swords. Yay! No range. I'm Never said that. A bit I hate you. Here. Why what's up? Like I clicked on the weapon thing, the forest firebow, and I don't quite know what Okay, so paste it into cool the chat. To... One second, if I press this, maybe it might help. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. So. Quits, uh, has an attack, ammunition, range. That's not your red text. Is it not the bow you want me to look at? Mm hmm. Yeah. So your red text box is on the right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you want me to look at the. And you've got a bunch of them open Someone for editing, so close them for editing because you don't need to edit any of them. Sure. Oh. You just click on their name gotcha. to open them. Gotcha, nope, that's gotcha. editing. Close that. Click on the red name. Oh, that's not oh what crap! Didn't mean to do that. Oh, just casting <laughs> random shields. Okay. So click on forest so fire bolt. It's not the, forty not, foot radius. For yep. The but where that's to paste light. it in. Now you click on the red text in the box in your sheet. Yeah. Look how it expands it nicely. There we go. And if you yeah, click on the text yeah. again, it closes it. You don't need to edit it. Remember. Yeah. There we go. Keeps your sheet neater as oh, well. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. 
So, so yeah. this definitely makes a lot of light then. Yeah. So bright light in a 40 foot radius and dim for an additional 40. So it's a crazy yeah. amount of light, to be honest. Your bow yeah. gives off. So. Shit. <laughs> yes. If they have friends, they definitely know we're here now. <laughs> I'm going to just put that on the map because if we go to tokens and then I'm going to edit one of these torch tokens, right? So let's see. But I'm guessing that also helps us because we'll be able to see them as well. Pop this torch down here and I'm going to edit its properties because it gives mm -hmm. 40 see them already, and 40. by the way. Carry on. All right, I'm just going to dump that on you. <laughs> You're burning! Nope, but it's important because it gives other people more light, quite frankly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, that I bow mean, is going to help out Eric's poor eyesight. Yeah, I was about to say, like, it doesn't really... None of you actually need it, but okay. <laughs> yep. But it's there. It's there. Jinx. So... Okay, um... So that was your action but... bonus action. Uh, that That's was your sorry. No, action. that was your bonus action. You've still got your action and your movement. I will not move. <laughs> I'm happy staying sitting a bit behind the group. And I believe you said was it the middle one that has a shield or the side ones that have the shield? The middle. The middle one. Okay, I'll try to go for the middle one because um, I'm thinking if it hits the shield, it will burn his shield. I mean, so... maybe. I mean, yeah, I don't know if he has, like, a fireproof shield, but still. It's probably metal. It was... Probably. Fine. Here Even I metal has to melt. No tech. His armor has a lot of metal, so it could be. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, they're definitely nothing we I would recognize. Like, they're not, like... Well, like, as a, a, a people's, um... No, depends. no, like, they're, the way they're dressed and everything, they definitely aren't, like... You'd need to roll for that, to, like... Assess them, and that would be your action. Bad sure. idea, no. <laughs> if I fire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Oh. Oh, nice. The middle one, and I'm guessing it happens. I'm guessing it hits. Okay. Let me see. Does that hit? Yep, it does. Yay! Sorry, ma. Damage. I'm getting some really bizarre decoding issues on Roll20, but that's fine. Oopsie. Uh, obviously Markov and Arrow. Of course, yeah. And that's what, 14? Yeah. Nice. Fum. Guy pulls up his shield, you stab underneath the shield, dear Arrow. Fwpwa, I believe we know. Right in the groin, yes. but this one's it. <laughs> <laughs> person swears a bit. You don't understand the language. Damn it. I'm pretty sure nobody any hears. Of us... I don't think MD here speaks goblin, do you? So yeah. Is that what they are? No, no it's goblin. just what you swore in. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they're that sort of people that, you know, learn just the words and Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I know a lot of those people. <laughs> uh, are you going to move anywhere? Oh, no, no, no. I did say I'm going to stay put where I am behind no people. No problem. Reach. I'm going to move. So you're not staying hit, but <laughs> behind me. Uh, let's see. 25. I've got 15 total. Right, okay, cool. I'm going straight up to the one on the left there. I'm going to. Is that okay? Yeah. Hey, is that okay? Heavy. And take off breath uh, the other one. Mm, mm. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with a stun. I just can't remember what it's called or what, but. Stunning strike, stun I think. Strike. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Running up, that's right. Cool. Right. One key down, an armor punch. And I almost hit myself. Right, okay. That does not. Yeah, it's not hit. No, yeah, unfortunately. No. Right. Same again, another stun mm. strike. Um, again. Yeah, it's got to hit. Okay. 
actually. Now, I don't think you need to say Stunning Strike at the start. I think you can just hit and choose it to be a Stunning Strike, right? Or Is that how that works? Right. Do you want to paste Stunning Strike in? We'll double check that now. Because I'm sure that's how that works. When you hit another creature with a melee attack, you can spend a key point to attempt Stunning Strike. When yeah. you so, hit them, I go. Right. So, only spent one point. Thank you. Yeah. It's just, I knew there was a wording thing in there where I'm like, yeah, you only spend it if you hit. So, it's actually a really good thing for monks. Yeah, yeah right. Good. Uh, right, brilliant. So, you hit also, with that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do. do you actually do damage as well? It's you hit. Yeah, I assume so. It doesn't say you don't, so. It does, so. doesn't say one way or the other, so yeah, okay, it must be still. Okay. It takes a wee bit of damage. Right. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, stunning strike, so they need to make a. DC 13 saving throw. DC 13, right. And that is a con saving throw. Nope. So they are he stunned. Does not. Yeah. I will pip him with something that involves looking like they're stunned. What would that be? Let's just do sleepy eyes. There we go. And that is for until the end of your next turn. Cool. Okay, cool. Good. So they're stunned. Uh, 25, 30, 5, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah, that works right, cool, uh, you probably want to see that a wee bit, but yeah, I'll right, do it that way. Nope, oh, that's fine, yep, that works. Yeah, thank you. I was looking for no the delete. I can oh, so just so you know what yeah. I'm working with just now, some of the decoding problems. Look at that. It's written in <laughs> Goblin. What the hell? Yeah. That is Inferno, isn't it? It's just like, <laughs> the fuck is that? But don't worry, I'll deal with that. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm punching the guy opposite straight above me. Mm -hmm. uh... Oh, man. Now, I am right in thinking I'm going to go, that's all my attacks. Uh, that does not hit, obviously. Yeah. Apparently these guys have shields too. I, I lied. Like, it says here in their uh, armour they've got shields, like on the list at the top. One guy's actually got shields listed in his action, that's why I thought there was difference, but no. Middle guy's in plate mail with a shield, the other side guys are in chain mail with a shield. There's the only visual difference, I guess. Okay. Yeah. One has a nicer braided beard, I guess. <laughs> the guy in the middle, right. that is, obviously. Now, step back one. That's all of my movement, and that's me finished. Cool. Oh, uh, good, okay. Not bad, though. That isn't bad, but. Yeah. One guy stunned, that's alright. Damaged and stunned. Uh, right, so. One guy is stunned, and that means I don't know. I think you can actually do that much when you're stunned, to be honest. Let me look at the condition stunned. I'm assuming absolutely nothing, really. But a creature, a stunned creature is incapacitated. See the condition; they can't move and can speak only falteringly. The creature automatically feels strength and dex saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Ooh. Right. Uh, and then. Incapacitated. Uh, they cannot take actions or reactions. So there's everything that affects that dude. So he just mumbles things in a language you don't understand. I guess. The guy that you just hit though. Uh, not that you give a fuck about reactions anyway, given your innate movement right. abilities. But other people yeah. might. Um, he steps up. Yeah, and he's just going to have a go. Why not? Uh, Anything else that I can decode from his character sheet? No, everything's <laughs> fine. Okay, bam. 18. That equals my AC. No, it was one better than my AC, in fact. Shit. Okay, that hurt. Yep. <laughs> he walks forward. Shield, sword, swings in at the side at you. 
bring your bracers up, obviously. Smacks you a bit. Yeah. Got love the kind of bling that you wear. And then, yeah. And then, yeah, I think he's happy as he is there. Crumbar. I mm. just realised if I was wearing a busty early, I'd be a Wonder Woman. <laughs> you need a tiara, and you need, <laughs> yeah, you need your yeah. lasso. <laughs> yeah. hey, if I've that's the direction, you, if that's, I've got rope. Yeah, but you need, you need magical truth rope, and I can get you on the truth rope if you need it. <laughs> I'm willing to support monk, monkster woman. <laughs> but yeah, that's our uh, paladin. Rumba down a bit. Come on down. Yeah, I'm a nap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right. So, going to do a boot at level two. Yeah. And. Bless up to three creatures uh, of your choice within range. Yep, but I'm doing it at level two. So, so it's I up to four. Get, yep, so everyone gets a bath. You get a buff. You get a buff. Hey, Benjamin! <laughs> that made me so happy. Oh, it's it so easy to make you happy, honestly. Just, just give you him You can like... always tell when people are staring at the screen, though, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, just, reading... just give him a, 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 like a little lizard companion, but just put the, the dinosaur token every time it's around, and you're just going to have Scott being happy 24-7. <laughs> Yeah, I love you, really. That would be so amazing. Um, where's my concentration in face? Um, yeah, everyone, dip yourself with a wee gold thing. Um, you now can add a D4. Everyone? To... Yeah, yeah, everyone. He blessed the team. Cool. So, see, because, like, Crumbar is, like, I just, like, basically, I've been woken up. And Crumbar was sleepy, so he's woken up, and he's, like, just been, like... Fuck, I want this done. I want this over with quick so I can get back to sleep. And he's just, you've just seen like him throw out his hands and like there's just been this golden wave kind of go out in a big circle. And as it's hit all you, it's just kind of like wrapped around you and giving you a big hug. And then it's like, ah, I can do shit. Less. I'm just going to have that just floating there so people remember. Mm <laughs> hmm. Um, yeah, because that's going to use up my action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody starts getting, you know, golden light auras around them. Mm, I don't really have many things I can do as bonuses. But right, most of your bonuses would knock off. Um, Place, yeah, to be honest. So yeah, um, you can move though. I I can move, but I'd rather not put myself in the firing lines because I don't have so long, armor Rich. on. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He has to tank because I've got an AC of like eleven. So yeah, I'm gonna just hang fire. Okay, I love that idea. That you can do it. Starts glowing gold, and that is his. That is his help. So you you could there, yeah. Now keep in mind, uh, you could take the. In fact, you've done your action, so that's fine. You can't see if you decide that you don't have an action to take. Though you can always take the dodge action. Remember, guys. But uh, you need an action to do. It, obviously, you use bless. Well, I know that now. Yeah. And you're not moving, so it's Kitlith. The star flower. <laughs> uh. All right. I uh. Would anything happen to this dude if I was to attack him? Would it like bring him out of his stun or...? It depends how good you attack him, right? Uh... I mean, you could attack him so good he's dead, but I mean, if you're going to get advantage <laughs> on him, I'd say attack him. Yeah, also, who attack wrote... stun guy. who wrote this? Because that Me. is like neat as heck. Yeah, I wrote it, but it's a font. <laughs> I'm not oh, gonna lie. I feel like so delusioned now. I thought like Cheating. you just got. Some, Imagine like, I was that tablet. good, yeah. <laughs> I had like a tablet there, and you just like, like spelt mm. it out. Um, anyway, yes, I'm gonna go. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, and you'll you'll have advantage um, on that dude, which means uh, 
Does that mean you get sneak attack? What paste your sneak attack in? We'll double check to see if that's. Uh, oh no, that one. There we go. Right. So sneak attack once per turn on attack. You've got advantage if you have advantage on the roll. So yeah, in theory, you could do a sneak attack on this guy Boing. if you wanted. Because I'm hidden behind the behind the you know the giant pallid. And I was going to say hidden behind the. It's actually it's mostly because the guy has just been knocked for six for a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. So it's up to you. Do you want to use that just now, or are you going to hold on Hell to it? Hell yeah! Use it, yeah. Do it, do it. Yeah. Cool. So I'll well get as much as I can. Remember, make toggle advantage on. I have, and I've got sneak attack. Cool. Set. And um, it's against that dude, the stunned dude. Yeah. This is your crossbow, I assume. Yes. Okay. For pas. I was just trying to find it. I was just like, where is it? I've used it <laughs> in so all of your stuff. <laughs> I literally just dumped my so bag there's not like a, a bold button. <laughs> wow. Doesn't hit. No. Uh, even if she adds on four. She still needs to use bless. Yeah, roll one d4. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I... It hits. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> so, Crumbar is actually guaranteed that. Is that 13 damage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Guy hits the deck. Yes! <laughs> um, Fucking. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get a second attack. I'm gonna shoot this dude. Um, would that still be a sneak attack with advantage? Uh, it's the other thing, right? So. You don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is within five, which do counts as an enemy of that particular thing. So you don't get advantage on the attack, but you do get to use... Actually, you don't get to use sneak attack because you've used it once per turn. No. So it's just a normal attack with a normal roll with normal damage. Yes! Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. So... A very familiar bolt flies past your face. I <laughs> reach. And uh, yeah, that hits him, obviously. And does Two it damage. Yep, yep, yep. Moving anywhere? Uh, no, I'm pretty pretty toasty where I am. <laughs> yeah, well, toasty. It's not even lit anymore, is it? Let no, it no. it's not lit. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think you're pretty good where you are, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Me. So really, he's been hit by Arya. He's watched Stu flurry around, or reach flurry around crazy, very fast, so he's a threat. Crumbar is essentially a cleric in his eyes at the moment. And I am a peaceful man. Yes, I am such a pacifist orc. <laughs> Pay no attention to the axe made of blood. <laughs> And then you've got, obviously, Kit Little Kill. Um, let's see. Probably, probably against Stu, let's fix it. Probably. Mm -hmm. So, walks up next to you. And I try and decode the Da Vinci Code here. Which is just crazy. Uh, right, okay, so they walk up, they've got their sword in hand, their shield in hand, like a, you know, snap off the burning arrow that's stuck into them. And then, uh, where are we? Right, so, bam. Enjoy any of this? Oh, no. No. Yeah, so two of those three hit you. Minus nineteen. Yeah. So this guy just walks up and literally with one sword, like one hand, on your sword just like slashes three times into you crazily. And obviously by the time the first hits, you're like, oh god, this guy's just appeared. Pull up your bracers, block one of them. Obviously he notices that and just rips the blade across your chest to another one. Yeah, he ain't messing around. Yeah. Yeah, right, cool. And then, uh, Right, 
Let's see. I don't know if he can actually do this. Let's see. Can he do this? Yeah, so he just screams that. So... So basically he has Bless? He has Leadership, which is his version of Bless, so he can help his buddy. But only his buddy? Yeah, it doesn't help. It right. doesn't affect him. He is the leader. Huh. So you get nothing. Good day, sir. Yeah. I, and then that... is him. And we're back round to Arya. <laughs> Okay. Also, I will once again try hit the guy. Uh, this time on the left. Yep. Big dude. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Even though and they're the same size, well, but you get what I mean. Okay. Well, the one on the left, not the one above. So I will once again pew pew his way. Also, still forgot something because of coding reasons. Um, so you're very pleased I did. It might come up later. You don't want it to. Be <laughs> pleased. Yeah. <laughs> it misses. You can you can roll bless if you want, but it definitely misses. No, <laughs> I can't be bothered with that. But yeah. Yeah. So it, it, I, I, I probably am just so happy from, mm -hmm. you know, I get to use my my nice bow, and uh, use it with fire. So I was doing so well, and obviously it got to my head, and I tried to do a trick shot, and I totally missed. That, mm -hmm. That's what happened there. Honestly. Yeah, the guy's obviously just a bit more savvy. The fact that you're a fucking flame archer now. Uh, he, he can see it coming a mile away. Yeah, this guy seems to be on the ball. Uh, are you moving anywhere? Mark off an arrow, of course, as well. No, no, no. I did. I did. Good, good, good. Reach. Hit him. I'm going to punch the guy. To the north of me. Uh, yeah. So I just where's my character? There is minimum. Yeah, that's twenty-two. Is. Nice. Uh, I'm going to stun him as well. So right. Yep, that's fine. Yep. So I'll do uh, do some damage. Well, no, nah, you don't need to. Oh right. Yeah. So you don't need to stun him. Cool. I'll unpip him because that seems pointless now. Ship that supplies there, but okay. Right, cool. He falls down. I think at that point, like the <laughs> the yeah. guy at the side just goes. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> One of two things here: you're either going to need to hire new people, or yeah, you're not going to need to hire. Or this is the new party member. <laughs> 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 I guess I'll just sign up with you guys then. <laughs> right, so punching him now. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, miss. You can still roll bless if you want, but yeah, it's really yeah. up to you if you think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it from what I've added up in my head. Yeah. But... Okay. Right, yeah, definitely. Yeah, anyway, what we need, nope. Right, try and... Is this for your third I... attack? So is this the yeah. one that you spend key to get, or is this no. just your second uh, attack? Yeah, it... Because you've got an attack, I get... and you can use your... I, I get to attack extra, again. Yeah, but also I, my main attack has an extra attack uh -huh. again at this level. So yep. I've got two attacks for my first one. I've got a bo bonus action one, mm -hmm. and if I spend a key, I can get another one. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, because that yeah. bonus can become a flurry. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Cool. cool. God, fucking so, works. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Please tell me. Uh, do I need to do that just in case? Is that that's enough, isn't it? Yes. I had yes. to cool. change the sheet because, again, decoding. <laughs> right. Cool. Okay. Right. Uh, damage, six. Can I make that stun as well? I should have said it before I rolled damage, shouldn't I? But... Uh, let's see. At the end. You can attempt to, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Attempt to stun him. Right. And then... Let's see. DC 13 constitution. My god, I've rolled really badly for con save something. 
Just gonna roll that again for a test. Yeah. No, it's fine. It works. It still, he fails regardless. That would have worked, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like it was because I rolled a four the last time. I was just yeah, making sure it doesn't just auto stuff, roll yeah. fours, but. Right. Right. See, he's feeling sleepy. I yeah, I'll am still going yeah. get a wee bit out of the way here because I am. Actually, I'm going to go. Bloody miles out of the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Might still go for me, but still, we'll see. Right. Uh, end turn. Uh, well, after I've had my, my How long nice does bag, last for? Sorry, is it a minute? Uh, ten minutes. So I want to see. I'll just scroll up the chair. I should really have it in. Uh, I'm sure it's um, yeah, up to up to one minute. One minute, six turns. Ten, Ten. turns. Uh, Ten right, turns. so mm -hmm. everything, I always put it afterwards. So. Okay. This is turn nine of Bliss, so yeah. You good? I'm good. You so, good. after Crumbar's had his massive shout of golden light. Mm -hmm. Dragons! <laughs> mm. ah! um, he picks up his axe and realizes it's like, hey, I'm not encumbered by my armor. This is quite freeing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's like, ah, just like old times, and charges right up to Boyle. Mm -hmm. And as he's running, I will... Yeah, as a bonus. So I'll shout that at him. And one second, because I need to add that into the tracker as well. That's just uh, for one minute or until it drops to zero. Yep. I had a vow in, and uh, it's ten. Let's add that under bless. And just as he's running up, I'm just just like you picked the wrong people to. Uh, I mean, you're already attack. getting advantage on him anyway. Yeah, I know, but you know, now, now yeah. I'm getting double advantage. So let's just pip that Thing. with, I don't know, like, what could be purple, I guess. Let's just pip him with purple for now. And oh, use wrong one. You, can, you can be pipped with purple. Yay. And what is going to happen is Crumbar is proper psyched up. So he is going to take a proc 5 penalty on my roll. And that's for Great Weapon Master, okay, yep. Yep. However, as he lifts up his axe, he squeezes it maybe a bit too tight okay. and triggers that. Mm -hmm. So So this is blood press you want to put in? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, so I will then get a plus five on my roll and plus... So you need to take damage? Yeah, plus five on my attack. Before you do that as well, I need you to make a, a con save for Bless. Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just going to yep. take away ten... Uh, constitution save, was it, yeah? Blap. Oh crap, that's with advantage, sorry. 17's fine that. regardless. No worries. And damn, I'm probably going to need these for when I'm attacking this guy. But either way, hammer comes... Oh, axe comes smashing so down. It's actually a normal attack roll then, right? Yeah, basically. Normal attack so roll. Yep, with advantage. Yeah. Uh, normal attack with advantage. And I'm gonna miss the hell, I'm gonna. You still get bless, but yeah. yeah. Fuck man, that would have been so that good. Misses. I think it's just you were so pumped up that maybe because this is the first time you've used that, the damage is what knocks you off the swing, right? Mm-hmm. So maybe you actually just end up like you go to swing in with the axe, the damage from the axe where you actually have to bleed into the thing. You end up just like side smacking the axe head into his armor instead of uh, obviously the blade. So you just mm -hmm. sound like you're ringing a bell. <laughs> yeah. 
Damn, that would have been good if I didn't roll with advantage last time. That'd be a disgusting amount of damage, yeah. That'd be what, a plus 15? <laughs> yep. Right, so that was bonus, action, and movement. You get any more movement left? Yeah, no, nah, I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm spent. You've got movement left. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy where I am. I'm good with you. Tick, tick. Kitlith. Okay, well. Advantage uh, and sneak attack. Yeah. I assume. <laughs> And obviously going for this dude. Of course. I hope so. <laughs> well, it depends how badly I roll. <laughs> oh. Also, I need to double check. I, yeah, you can roll bless if you want, but I think we know. It's, yeah, that's even. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sleep attack element is not. That I still get advantage? For what, sorry? Yeah, still advantage. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh. Does it matter about bless? Uh, no. It hits. <laughs> oh, yeah, but. I mean, it's only four, but still. That's four more still damage, nothing. yep. <laughs> Definitely still damage. <laughs> and. Movement at all? Um. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Mark off your bolts. Uh, yep. I feel like if they're stunned, they should get stuff on their attacks, but I don't know. I don't think it actually says that literally anywhere, so I think we're we're good as is. Yeah, not being able to block now, you'd think make it easier to hit them, but apparently not. Yeah. You'd think so, right? You would think yeah. so, but apparently not. Um, two seconds stunned. I just feel like if you're being booted around. It really doesn't say that though, so I guess it doesn't matter. That's good enough. Well, like, drunken... Uh, I can't remember, drunken monkey is it? What's it? The martial arts kung fu thing. Oh is yeah. That's just... stunned, he's staggering all over mm -hmm. the place and he's really hard to hit. <laughs> <That's>... Yeah, <laughs> it's bizarre, but apparently not. It's more just the... If you're stunned, I guess it's not so much about being put to sleep. Whereas if you're put to sleep, and then people start kicking you, you wake up, right? So I guess it's, it is different. Uh, right, uh, it's that person's turn. They can't do anything, I guess. So they, they mumble a bit in Goblin. And then I guess we're back to Arya. Because it's the end of, it's the start. Is it the start of your turn? Let's do. That happens. We're in oh, stun good. end. Yeah, I think it is the start of my turn. Uh, Stunning strike. Saving throw or be stunned until the end of your next turn. There we go. End of it. Good, so I'll still go. Yeah, yeah you get your turn, then it's game's a bogey. Okay, are you? Aya goes pew pew. Or at least tries to, you know. <laughs> I love how this guy's just ringing out like a bell. Yeah, needless to say, I'm like useless. Yeah. And I will mark down a arrow. Okay, dokie. I don't any bonuses or movements? Any... No, I'll say, but I don't suppose I get any uh, uh, um, advantage of any Oh, that would have been an advantage. Sorry, yeah, you roll stunned. again. Oh, yeah, you do. Roll again. <sighs> Sorry, that is, like, I just assume you were tracking that. Sorry, well, he stunned it. All attacks yep, have advantage. Yep, yep, yep. I thought so. Uh, one second, because I be unable to. There we go. Well. Click, click the damage. Okay, so ridiculous damage. Please, that's quite make him. <laughs> so <laughs> nine plus twelve. What's that? Uh, so nine, twenty. Twenty total, huh? yeah. Nine plus twelve. Twenty one, yeah. Twenty one. Cool. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so, phoom, right into the guy. Obviously, guy takes a lot of damage. His beard starts to get singed. It's not very good looking. <laughs> Crumbar, you smell singed beard. Mm. <laughs> Just like Mum used to make. Uh, anything else? Wait, 
How are you? Oh no, I just shoot and I'm like, you know, looking a bit proud of myself when it hits. Yeah, there's and probably like, like, see with that as well, there's probably like a slightly kind of deeper enjoyment out of the fact that you know that was going to be a good hit. You know, the hmm. bow enjoyed that. <laughs> Reach. Let's hope we can finish this, right? Straight in. Punching him, of course. Of course. Punch. Nice. And I've got advantage, but I'm rolling it for... Yep, like, you roll for, for the crit for, chance, yep. That's yeah. fine, so... Give me your damage. Uh, hit the first one for that, cool. Okay. Yep. Right, now... My actual second hit. Uh, mm-hmm. Bloody hell, so close. Right, yep. and he's still there, is he? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I need to say this now? This is now? just the scene in Iron Man, sorry, in Avengers 2 when Hulkbuster is punching Hulk. <laughs> it's like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Another standard hit again. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Nice. And he's still standing there. Yep. Yeah. Dear, you walk dear. up and just like bell ring, punch, punch, punch. Right. Pull back. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> Jesus. No longer stunned. Grumbar, this guy comes to, looks at you, narrows his eyes, growls a bit. <laughs> and just go, bring it on, bro. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, you know something? I know several things, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't use my extra attack last last turn. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I actually I forgot to do things against Stu as well earlier, which would have been horrible so we're all good it's fine i mean it was it was a lot it was a lot to take in last mm -hmm. time either way same as last time gonna proc that and uh to take your damage taking my damage doing the he's thing. gonna end up killing himself uh, <laughs> yep you make your save buddy i'm fine i'm gonna put on advantage i'm gonna hope to god this hurts Yes, it does. Why is this rolling like nine times? I don't know. You must. Uh, so I only no. came through once for me. So yeah, same here as well. Yeah, no, right. just just the dice animation is just keeping on going. That's fine. So we've got here, sure. we've got your minus five penalty to attack roll from Great Weapon Master. So that takes it to twenty, and then my plus five from blood price mm -hmm. takes it back up to twenty-five. Yep, obviously that's so, a hit as is. Do you want to roll bless anyway? Kinda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lol! Nice. Two. Right, so... That's a 27, and then this is an attack plus 15, I believe. Is there any way that I can do this with adding 15? Yeah, you could... Um... I'll just click it and then just type plus 15. Wow, the bonus damage is more than it. God, be at least staggered. At least. So what's that? Twenty-five, twenty-seven. Oh, so you rolled the same damage as the hit roll. <laughs> <laughs> so twenty-seven. That definitely hurt the guy. Definitely hurt the guy. But he's still there. It just a lot of his insides are on the outside now. I think. <laughs> he's still there. So after that, incredible, like. I think what would, what would be happening is with this is when it hits him, you see like blood just burst out of the axe and just makes lots of bloody mess on the floor. And then I'll come up for the back swing and go uh what cha cha cha. Fucking a. That does hit, right? Roll bless. Seriously? Mm-hmm. 
It is part of the, the thing. 25. Yep. Hits. Well, bam! Boom. Yay. Motherfucker! And Crumbar just lets out like a yell of like Orcish war cry of victory. <laughs> so. Cam descends again. Orcish war cry of victory. Is that who's your father? <laughs> <laughs> who's your war chief? <laughs> Rainbow Dash is my favourite! <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Well, we definitely no. want to search everyone here because no one ever are there dead merchants there, but there's dead yeah. people who've been stealing from merchants. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just, I just yeah, don't I even think. I did to investigate. Oh yeah, definitely. I think right. Corpses. I think right now I'm just like in the enjoyment of battle. Like, you mean, battle you're bliss. fucked up. Remember. <laughs> hmm. You're fucked up. Remember. It's mostly self-inflicted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it doesn't I'm, mean it doesn't I, hurt I, any I, less. Like it. I can, I can still be happy and excited about it. But no sympathy for it. He but. can always fill himself up and heal himself. It's like a yeah. proper bloodlusty vibe mm. as well. The fact that like the axe mm. has enjoyed this, right? Mm. As well, because it's been fed, quite frankly, a lot. Also, very little blood has came from them. Just as an FYI, there, Crumbar. Like it mostly went into the axe. Like that's the grin I've got on my face right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah it's I'm mostly to investigate them to see if it, they're in any way like rich. Wrong. No, 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 no. I'm not looking at. I'm I want to look. Looking to loot them. I'm looking <laughs> to see yeah. if they're like. Yeah, well, let's do this in order up, then, right? So, you know, Kitlith can go first because she's in the next in the order, right? So, eh. you want to go sure, loot sure. them? Yeah. Cool. I, again, I, I mean, you can see that they've got long swords. They've got shields. The big guy had a couple of javelins. I, you, yeah, like they'll get like plate armor and chainmail. Any coin? Don't know. Let's find out. Let me find out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I think total. Let's see. Gonna paste this in our chat. That and let's see that and that. So the first ones was on the big guy, and the other two guys had. Those individually. So obviously there was a run of this letter, clearly. The only had <laughs> twenty-two copper pieces. Uh, Maybe he drank it all. Yeah. Yeah. So you can find that. Obviously, it's up to you if you're sharing that out or not. But you can definitely. Of course, she's not. No. <laughs> no, it's for us. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll leave that to use to divvy up. Um, and then, right, so that was that. Now, Ari, you wanted to go over and investigate them. You uh, What you really yeah. mean is it's a medicine check to see if they're exactly. affected. Or arcana if they're like changed, or nature to see if, like you tell me, because the answer is different depending on what you roll. No, I'm going to look at them from a, like, medical point of view, like if they are, if they seem inflicted with the thing. So you want to know if they've got the same thing that the affected the orcs? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can try medicine for that if you want, yeah. They are not. I can just tell you that now. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, do you want to ask me anything else about them medically? <laughs> um, like, why are they, why do they bleed li very little? That's uh, what I was a bit. You can't tell from that, right? Oh my god. Am I still blessed? 
it's not that. You don't okay, know. I'm like, joking. it doesn't make sense. Is that? Obviously, you know why I didn't sure. bleed from your wounds, because you cauterized them with your fucking fire arrows. But as for yeah. all the stuff Crumbar had, like, annihilated the guy with, yeah, you, like, you don't know. Because that should have left the entire place covered in blood. It, yeah, I think I know why. <laughs> Crumbar should know exactly why, but maybe, no, you could, Crumbar, maybe, no. maybe you could say that out loud. Are you? And maybe Crumbar could answer you. Yeah. I, I would be like, oh, this... This is uh, a bit peculiar, but it's probably because of my, the wounds I gave them, maybe. And I'll be saying that out loud. I just kind of look up and, yeah, like, obviously I'm still in a bit of a kind of, not blood rage, but you can see I'm proper hyped up. Mm -hmm. um, and just hearing her, like, Arya's voice, I think would just kind of maybe not snap me out of it, but realize, like, oh, fight's over. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of let out, like, a big, like, exhale, just like a big, like, and on doing that, all my blessing vows and concentration and everything have just come off. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to take every no, nope, not that. I see a big red X. I'm like, ah, it must be that one. Nope, that would kill me. So that all kind of comes off, and like you see, like the glow around everyone, like dissipate away with the wind and stuff. And I just stand, like I just like look at Aria, and it's like. Their blood is their blood is in here now, and just like hold up my axe. Oh, because obviously Arya doesn't really. What? Well, sorry, you cut you cut out there. Uh, okay, no, just a bit, yeah. And part of me will make a mental note not to like fall asleep <laughs> next to your axe just in case it gets hung. Just saying. Nah, it's okay. It only will hurt you if I want it to. Which I don't. Mm. Oh my god, Kitty gets even more sharp stuff. So, <laughs> Kit does Kitlith react at all to the fact that like Crumbers just held up the axe and obviously Arya's walked up and said. Where did their blood go? And then Grummer goes, it's in here now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'd be slightly concerned. Like, oh, okay, that's new. Um, like, oh, more weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Loot. Ooh, pointy thing. <laughs> um, Do you reach? What about you? What are you up to? Yeah, I'm kidding. Right, okay, yeah, let's try and quite like ignore that but <laughs> Kitty you've investigated what all the fighters yeah she's she's yeah. raided the the guys on the ground that you were fighting and then I, I tried to go loot the villages but I got put back yeah because it wasn't our turn <laughs> you I, did your thing yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've actually I'd rather have a look at that car so yeah have yeah, a look at the car see what's in there cool. the roller no, you don't need to roll. It's uh, okay, cool. not particularly uh, difficult. You find. What do you find? Um, yeah, you can find that list. That, that's a decent enough list. Also, dear gods, guys, come on. <laughs> Holy shit. Right, okay. Oh my. Poor bandit again. Okay. Bandit again? Okay. What? They had. I'm not sure what that is. A bunch of jewels. Is it... Yeah, jewels. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, Gemstones and such. Yeah, I mean, I knew what agate and quartz and stuff meant, but I was like, bandit? What, huh? Yeah, so uh, it means like they're you... wrapped, to get wrapped up, wrapped together. Whoever gets hurt a lot should Isn't take the me? potion of greater healing. <laughs> 187, that's enough to heal a dragon. Wow! No, that's the page number. Oh, right, I was really Dungeon Master's that, Guide. DMG. Oh, right! Oh, right. <laughs> it's oh, so the source it would, of the item. Right. It wouldn't be a good healing potion if it, it damaged, damaged you. It. Yeah. Drink oh, this, so Mr. Dragon! 
Wait, potion of fire breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, so you then breathe fire. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's pretty cool. Right, whoever gets, right, we all get one banded a gate, right? And the other three get split between that and the fire breath gets split between us. Whoever it's 4d6 fire, fire damage on a save draw um, on the target or half as much damage on a successful one. So, you know, 4d6, that's pretty darn cool. And well, the other I'll, one right I'll take the potion of fire breath because I'm the one that's always in melee range and I'm assuming that's not. A ranged ability? 30 feet in front of you. Seriously? Mm -hmm. As a drinking this potion, you can use a bonus action to assail fire at target within 30 feet of you. The targets must make a DC 13 dexterity saving, taking 46 damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. The effects end after you exhale the fire three times or when an hour has passed. So you get to do that three times. It's kind of broken. I think you should have it then. She doesn't really need more fire, to be honest. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I, I, I'm, I'm really pushing this fire theme here. Like, yeah, what am I going to do next? Change my clothes to all red yeah. and be like... Uh, I'll take that then, because okay. that way it'd give me some range and fun. Try to read the greater healing one. And reach, reach should take the greater ah, okay, healing. Gotcha. It's the it's the potion of healing, so you regain hit points when you drink this, and it, the number of hit points depends on the rarity. So, so it's uncommon. Yeah, forty-four plus four. Wow. Mm. Forty-four, sixteen. I'm gonna suggest that's maybe Stu that should take that one. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. like somebody that doesn't usually have healing. Maybe. I do tend to get a wee bit damaged now and again, but yeah, okay. Like I said, the person who takes the most damage often. <laughs> I would say that based on that, I would just divide up the jewels between the other two and you just take yeah. the potions, guys. And that's probably an easier yeah. way to split that because mm -hmm. yeah. I think you guys still make out better <laughs> yeah. money wise. But it was 48 gold each as well for that. That adds up to 48 gold each. There, the money side it. Yeah. Oh, um, awesome. Do we see any, inf I mean, do we have any information on the people they killed, like, you know, any idea of... I mean, fair enough, it's your turn any... next, if, well, actually, no, it's Crumbar's turn next, otherwise. Uh, Ryan, I can't find the potion of fire breathing. Yeah, because it isn't in the compendium. Oh, right, I'll okay. Somebody, somebody... Oh, oh, one sec. You can send you a picture one of it, sec, probably. One sec, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'm doing that just now. Yeah, nothing in the DMG has been put into Roll20. Nothing. Right, okay. The Essentials Kit was put into D&D &D though, uh, in Roll20, sorry. So some random selections of items have been put in. That's not one of them. Because uh, the Essentials Kit's got, like, it's a combination of all the books. Like, as a, a mini snippet, a bite size of all of them. But no, I am desperate for the DMG to be done in Roll20 because it would save me so much fucking admin work of typing up items. But, no. Cool. I'm just going to up. Oh, cheers, love. I need to take a second one because the initial one I took of the second part. I don't know why it keeps flipping it. Really, you should trim that and then just put these in the rules chat. That's what you should do. So that you've got the what you need. Yeah. So, Reach, when you went over to the cart, you obviously found the secret fake panel underneath the cart that was busted open. Cool. And yeah, uh, cool. That's pretty much where all this stuff was packed in. Uh, uh, beyond that, yeah. Cabbages on top. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> generic trade goods, right? Like, nothing yeah. particularly exciting. Cloths and silks and shit like that, maybe? Like, um, yeah. But nothing that's convenient to carry. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I right, like um, bolts of silk essentially, and by that I don't mean bolts for kitty, I mean bolts as in to the length of the cart. It would be like reels yep. and reels of it. So, yeah. 
Did we just get a free cart to put stuff up? Yeah, the cart's busted up, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Attack us obviously weren't gentle when they attacked. Okay. Nah, I'd like they went and trashed the legs and such. Does that make it easier? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Aye. I mean, if they had woodworking tools, you could maybe try and fix it. Mm. Or like carpenter tools or some shit. I got swords. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so you took yeah, three javelins. Yeah, right? Huh? You took three javelins, just so you know. There were three, yeah. right, um, for the saddlebag. Are you taking anything else from the dudes, or was that it? Uh, that was it. Is Andy taking anything else from those dudes? Mm, I took one of the agates and uh, the fiery potion. I don't mean Just from the, the loot. Did any of them have, like, arrows? Uh, let's see, because I'm pretty sure they guys have bows. Let me double check. By the way, you fired more than two as well, so you can retrieve your. Yeah. No. She no. can't because they were all fire. Dracaris. Oh. Yeah, they burn up. Uh, yeah, so there are two quivers with 20 arrows in it in the each. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I'm doing one step. I will my There's normal also, so quiver there... back up to 20. Long swords. Long bow. Uh, Are they two, any nice? Times two, and I mean, they're not particularly long aesthetic, but yeah, they're <laughs> long bows. Um, they're not quite bow from hell, quite frankly. No, 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 no. I'm not thinking about um, replacing my own. I'm just thinking. Also, Stu, here's what I'm Might I be worth it picking them up and then selling them in the nearest city. Yeah. Sorry, this is totally that. something that Anar would do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> also, yeah. remember the nearest place you're heading to is Anvil, and if you think that a bunch of random like road bandit stuff is gonna fetch anything from the people that are like yeah. blacksmith by blood, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I realized yeah. that after. I was like, oh yeah, that's the closest thing. Maybe we're if gonna... you make like another set of travelers, and we're like, hey. Do you guys want some weapons to defend yourself against the guys that clearly attacked previous people? It wasn't us, by the way. Pulsing <laughs> blood axe on Crumbar's back. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I was like, you want more gold after that horde? Bloody hell. Um, I'm just saying. I, I mean, you can ask what you want to ask, yeah. Um, but no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I, I've just filled up my own arrows. That's more than I need. Yeah, so it's up to you. You can top off your quiver, or you can like take I a second did, yeah. quiver. Cool. What was the medicine roll for? Uh, it was to see if I the... still have most of my golden order arrows anyway. I've just I have more than I need. The the medicine roll was to see if the the guys were the same as the orcs, like if they were like infected. Yeah, got you. And they were not. Um, and then we got into the the lack of blood on them. So that's what that was for. Uh, Scott asked about gold. Did that get mm -hmm. answered? Because it's in the chat, I believe. Uh, is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so it is 28 G55. Five, five. I think that was before the second lot got pasted in, so. Yeah, what was the second lot? It was 4,800, but I didn't actually paste it into that. Uh, 48 gold each for the second lot. 48 in total? Yeah, oh. I actually made an extra down number the second lot, yeah. Wait, so th we'll have 28 plus 48? Yes, 60, 76, yeah. And 5 silver and 5 copper. And yeah, Katie gets yeah. 2 extra copper. Yeah. For her finder's fee, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, like, per patrolling the roads is not a bad way to make money from really the isn't. people that get murdered. Mm. <laughs> uh, well... Kind of lighting her along as well, so yeah, so uh, I'll still get any help. Assuming these guys didn't just come to investigate, the <laughs> yeah, well, that is that as well. I mean, they shot first, so they yeah. did not. They did oh. not. Yeah. Well, they we killed people. those. People Arya stood first. up, went Dracara's an infernal. By the way, yeah, her yeah. bow caught fire, and then she 
I can pot you shot can also the I, do, I didn't see them kill those other ones. I just woke mm-hmm. up with a sudden noise, loud noise. So mm-hmm. I'm assuming it was them killing those other people. <laughs> Wow, we that. could have just killed some innocent people. Well, things. <laughs> they were attacked by. <laughs> the important thing is, is we think we done good. Yes. Is right. that the, but anyway, um, right? Okay, what's the plan, guys? Like, what's what is the plan? We get to write the history books. So <laughs> yes, it is. I well, what time is it? It's ten o'clock is at it? night. Yeah, I suggest we set up camp again. And rest up, because I am fucked, in case you can't tell. So Crumbar needs a long rest. It's because you also, fed half your health to your fucking axe. <laughs> hey, also, hey. Wondering why axe. we're camped so close to the road as well. Maybe if you go another 100 yards into the forest or off the road, at least anyway. <laughs> okay. but, uh, the, yeah, that, like, those trees are abstract. Like, <laughs> If you want to head... Keep in mind, though, the only clo- the closest forest, like the Bitterwood forest, remember? Yeah, I don't want to go deep into that. I don't it, think but... you want to go that deep into that, yeah. no. Hmm. And just in case MJ came to investigate the follow-up on those orcs, remember? Yeah. Hmm. Everybody take your rubbish with you. <laughs> oh. I don't let her, ideally. Don't let her the woods, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, set up camp again, finish your long rest, or head off? I'd say set, set up camp again. Yeah. I think for, first of all, to be nice though, see the three bodies mm-hmm. there, instead of just leaving them in a pile in the side, like in the middle of the road, like place them neatly in their cart and just kind of, you know, have a bit more respect, be a bit more respectful for them. Yeah, I mean, you can do that if you want. You can pop them all on top of the cart. Um, let's do that. And Kitty, you have your fiery spell, don't you? Uh, I like yeah. how you say that when your party member is called the Mistress of the Flame. Yeah, like I, at this point, I'm I'm giving them that look, kind of like, do mm-hmm. you forget I exist? No, well, I was going to suggest we burn the car, and then that way it cremates the bodies and stuff. Yeah, that makes it nice and quiet so that nobody knows we're here. <laughs> Are you going to put them in the morning? What about those dudes as well? Are you going to put them on the court too? Or just... Nah, fuck, fuck them. They don't deserve honour. They deserve to be eaten by a blood axe. Uh... You want to use a spell slot and burn them then, yeah? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we're just going to sleep. So. Technically, I could do it because, you know. I, I know, but I mean, let's face it, Crumbar has asked Kitlith, so yeah, Kitlith, yeah, I know. you woke up and... I, I think you've done enough fire for today, Ari. <laughs> I, I still take this a little bit, you know, kind of like an... I w- nope. Is she breaking up? Flame yeah, yeah, hands and I'm just moving it from... Nope. Oh, just yes. Juggling with the ball and moving it from one hand to another, I'll be doing that. So she's hey, using Kit- Produce Flame, I'll still let Kitlet do it, but just saying, kind of like... Mm. Yeah. Kitlet, do you want to describe how this looks in this scene? Uh, like I, I get asked to burn the cart, and I'm like, okay. Um, sort of put both hands out, and just... I don't know. Um, Use think your 30 fiery thoughts. Claim, like <laughs> your 30 foot, uh, sorry, cone of flame. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the, the cone on the thing, but I don't think there actually is one. There, I want ice cream now. I was going to say, there should have been, um, but let's see. I'll, I'll see if I can get this one. Because there is one. Uh, there's that one, it. and there is that one. Let me just wait for them to load in. So, hey, fiery thing. That, and... <laughs> It'll be the or that diagonal. One. Yeah, diagonal boy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, campfire then, sorted. Cool with that scene, but we have step back just to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She just goes woof. Oh, the fire I mean, maybe, maybe that's the thing. Like, I've just asked Kitty to just go up and burn the thing. I didn't expect her to go up and ignite it with her hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, did you think it was going to come out of? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like <laughs> under the light of fart or something. <laughs> no, a tinder box or something. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I think you're probably like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you asked me thinking like you know she's got a, the, the tinder box and stuff and then it's like okay and then just like holds a hand out and just flames fly out of it you're like what <laughs> Kimber, do you want to use a an arcana rule for me who sorry you okay um wow oh crap that was really damaged it's that. fine 17's fine yeah, like that. She's a wizard. Like <laughs> that is what you get from that. Like that's how wizards make fire. She's a wizzy. Yeah, it's a wizzy. like a cigarette. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lean's hand out. Hand comes back scarred. No cigarette. And she just turns and says, "Don't smoke. It's bad for your Black head. Is. Yeah. Smoke is bad for you." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three other people nearby also dead. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the disgusting well, thing is, do you want to click here? So, so it was 11 damage as well, that would have done, which is just crazy. Um, just for your spell. But yeah, so that's a... Cart goes up, you pile the dwarfs up onto the uh, cart, they go up in flames, you've still got these bodies in the middle of the road. Do you drag them off to the side or do you leave them... No, Crumbar definitely doesn't. Crumbar stoats back over to here, has a sit down... Because he's just realised just how drained his body is, mm -hmm. and proceeds to just slowly drift back to sleep. Because I'm assuming our tents and stuff are all still set up here. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't have needed a tent here. It's not cold enough to really warrant a tent. No, oh, like now, our, but yeah. our our sleepy your bags horses and stuff, stuff are nearby. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back there and continue to sleep. Yep. With the, the horrible voices in my head of knowing that we have just brutally <laughs> murdered three people. Mm -hmm. Well. Or whatever they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what about everybody else? What's what? everybody else's plan? Well, I'm just thinking, would it have been respectful to burn the bodies of dwarves? Like, is that something they would have been fine with? I don't like... roll religion on that. <laughs> Too late now! <laughs> well, where's your religion roll from earlier? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have shit. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you just don't know enough about dwarves, unfortunately. Um, like, some cultures, yeah. Dwarves would want but, to be buried, to be honest. If they, but anyway. I mean, if you want to have a think about it, you can roll religion too. It's up to you. Uh, it just depends if that would even come into your mind after she's already torched them. No, it's sort of like an afterthought of. Yeah. What's well, that respectful? Uh, I will actually roll it. Yeah, go for it. I do think it went buried, so. Do I know? Uh, dwarves burn their dead. Alright, cool. Yes. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> I said this way back at the start. Ended. The dwarves in my world are a bit more Viking y. Right. Okay. I just always give them an extra Scottish accent because I can't do Viking accents. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's in I fact mean, the exact. I thing to do is burn them. Um, there are reasons about their spirits being trapped I am in the stone and such, the stone of the flesh, but that's a, a deeper thing that you'd maybe need to go speak to the dwarven priest about. Um, cool. Reach, you probably know this because you were trained by a dwarven priest. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably why this is easy knowledge for you, to be honest. Um, yep. I only thought of that after you rolled, though, so yeah, <laughs> that's on you to remember that shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, Blood of the Plains probably, like, at some point has mentioned this, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's a name I'm need to remember in the yeah. upcoming session, I think, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, Blade <laughs> of the Plains, everybody! Blade of the Plains! So people come near you, Blade of the Plains! It's like that scene in Ace Ventura. Like Bumblebee <laughs> Tuna! Bumblebee Tuna! <laughs> uh, right, okay, so... You want to finish your long rest? Yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll chuck everything back yeah. to the uh, yeah. thing. Uh, I'm assuming you're putting your your bow out, are you? <laughs> I just like how she has a wee calcifer flame following mm. her about. Technically, it's on her for the the bow's light. Are you? Speak no, to me. The, are you putting bow... the bow out? Well, have we got any other light on right now? 
No. Well, there's a the, burning. Oh well, yeah, actually, yeah, just like, a wee bit of a way. Oh. Yeah, the, the big campfire up here. Yeah, that's torched. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but if we don't need any source of light, you all then... can see in the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that as well. <laughs> I'll just I leave the boys' light source. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave the source just at the um, campfire because, let's face it, it's probably shedding the same amount of light as the bow did anyway, so that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I would be. So you obviously put them. the bow away because you're going to go to sleep, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody can benefit from a long rest then. Um, whoop, whoop. I'll do the maths on your XP gains. Is that full hit points, by the way, a long rest? Yes. Is, yep. Should yep. be, yeah. Oh, the only thing it's not full. Oh, is nice. your hit dice? And kills us in but none of you have used hit dice in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, we only you only use hit. Half rounded down. You only use hit dice on a short rest, rest don't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. And technically, you haven't had your long rest yet. So this is you completing the long rest of this day, anyway. If that makes sense. This isn't like a sure. second long rest in this day. It's just it was interrupted. So this is you like completing it. Uh, Normally, if it was, see if you were seven hours into a long rest and somebody attacks you guys, that has stopped your long rest. You'd need to have another eight hours after that. So mm. you aren't on any specific schedule. It's only ten at night. So that was only like Reach was the first watch. Put it that way. Mm -hmm. And he's probably just kicked the campfire out, quite frankly. And then that happens. And Reach probably nodded off, even though he's not told him to do that. Yeah, based on that. Tell anybody yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that. Like... Everybody, get up, get up, get up! We're going. <laughs> deep meditation with my eyes shut, unfortunately. But... Yeah. <laughs> the snoring was coincidental. <laughs> uh, let's see. That is. I mean, whatever helps you sleep at night. Six twenty-five. Everything gets. That's what XP is getting. Oh, that's got to be good news. That is probably good news for most of you. I don't know the math on that. Uh... 13, 14... 025, I think, but I'm still going to put it in my calculator. 625, did you say? Yeah. 14,225. Yeah. Yay! Level up! Uh, so, who told you taking this would just be beneficial? I mean, but actually, just taking a long rest as well, so technically we can click that button, but it just depends what's happening in the story, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, if you want, we can take time now and we can do everybody's level up so we're all set for next week instead of having to find time next week. So let's Somebody's do that just now. Click that button anyways. Just, yeah, shall we just end the session here then, guys, and wake up next week? I'd rather, week? like, let, Scott, I'm the GM. Stop Sorry? that. Stop that. <laughs> he I'm was really trying to, like, snipe your position, Honestly, isn't he? Honestly, <laughs> fucking hell. Like, Scott, shut up. <laughs> I'm the GM. <laughs> Dear God. Fire. Yeah, like I mean, again, if you want, if you want a shot at GMing, you just let me know, buddy. We'll sort it mm. out. I really don't. Mind. The adventures of Benjamin and James shall continue. Fucking hell! Uh, right, so that means you're level six. Right, okay, so uh, before we get stuck into leveling up, obviously I know everybody's crazy for that. Uh, session title. What are we thinking? Quite walk in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you go down to the woods today. Actually, you know, I had one, but because we've done combat since, I, my brain's just totally erased it, so I actually yeah. have no idea what my suggestion was um, anymore. But it was a... Uh, realistically, what's happened, you have geared up at Glitterhagen, you have rode out on your horses, and yeah, you are heading towards Anvil, so I don't really know what I... Uh, You could really call this particular mm -hmm. session. Let's say uh, up to you guys. You have taught mm -hmm. people infernally. You have fought some people on the road. Um, we burned some bodies. Yeah. Uh, what have we got? So journey to Anvil. Stay off the road is by a suggestion. <laughs> I, I'm open to obviously other suggestions. I'm just going to rip off Lord of the Rings, obviously, for that. Mm -hmm. Anybody else got anything? Um, 
Um, I can't think. Nothing. I think it's going to be stay off the road then. Yeah, go with that. Yeah, um, go with that. I mean, considering I put winter, we're coming last week. Like, I don't think we're, we're worried too much <laughs> about the. Stay off the road. There we go. That's a session title. Uh, goals we've already technically done. So, the one we completed was uh, Arya Learn Infernal from Crumbar. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that means we have another. You've got a goal slot open if anybody's got any suggestions. Yeah, we do. Can we fill it now or do we. Also, who is light blue? Are you your light blue? Yeah. So do you want to mark the inspiration button? If it's not already marked. Uh, one second. So I've kind of got myself back into... Back... Um, remember, if you I complete can... a suggested goal, you get inspiration. I can also light oh, okay. now as I well. will put that on as soon as I can put that on, but now yeah, because I'm I clicked the level up button it's That's fine. People that can just remind thing. you that you've got that for next time. What was that still I'm inspired and inspirational. Does anyone need help with their level up of interest? Or is everybody good? I will uh, how, what's problem. the end total again, sorry? What the XP was total? It? Yeah. One four two two five. And Crumbar, I don't know if you're feeling left out or what, but are you now the only one who can't make fire? <laughs> so I've got burning hands as well now. <laughs> um, I've got Sear and Smite. <laughs> yep, that counts, Sear right? Uh, yeah, that's fire damage. It just had to be just like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you were brave. I you know, right? Every no, single time I've seen that before, it's been like two or something stupid, and I'm like... <gasps> At some point it pans out, right? At some point... Oh, wait. At some point. Oh, do you keep rolling how much health you're getting instead of going with roll. the average? You don't roll. You can choose to roll. Oh, you can yeah, play it safe yeah. and go for just five. Well, like the first two times I was like, I'm going to gamble, and then it was like, I'm just going to play it safe. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, gamble, why not? Right, so everyone's done their health, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then, does anybody want assistance going through it with me, or is everybody good? It should be okay. So I get my Druid Circle feature. And... One more lever, three spell. I think that's all I get. Yep. Obviously, nice. you can change, oh, you can change out your... I get level four spell. <laughs> Aura of protection is quite bloody nice. Yeah, what does it do? So, starting at level six, whenever you're a friendly creature within ten feet of you must make a saving throw, the creature gains a bonus to the saving throw equal to your charisma modifier... Um, you then must make. You must be conscious, sorry, to grant this bonus. So, if somebody so, is near you, is it any saving throw? Yep. Does so that include death saving throws? Nice. And that, what is your charisma modifier? Plus three or? Plus two. Plus two. So that's awesome. So if you're within ten feet of Crumbar and he's still awake, uh, you get a plus two to any save you have to make, which is awesome. So give. Crumbar a kick if you're sleeping if you need to save you. <laughs> Wake up, Crumbar! Now I'll roll my death save. <laughs> I'm not showing my spells again. Death saves, actually, yeah. Probably for death saves. Give it time. It might take time to load if your connection's been iffy. And obviously I know you love tabs, so... Well, it's never bothered it before. It's recently, though. Think it's... how many more people use Roll20 now. I guess, well, but still it's engine. like, it loads everything else fair, right, the spells... Yep. It took tried. me a long time to load stuff when I was trying to edit stuff. Everything still changes to, I think, Korean at the moment on my screen. What? So, yeah. Is that what um, that was? I'm struggling with the spells as well, because what happens is they all seem to be greyed out. Yeah, mines are all greyed out as well. I should be able to, like, it tells me I should be able to select more. Well, let me have a look at yours just now. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, mine's just the same. It's saying that um, you can add five new spells. No, I can't. 
So I'm going to look at Arya's first. No, do click anything while we do this, so I can attempt to assist. No, no, click no. all the things. I mean, it's loading all your spells eventually for me. So. I know it is loading them. It's just they're like grayed out, and I can't add more to the list. Like it tells me I can add my new spells. So. So that's in general right so you have remember go to your druid thing and read how many yeah. spells you get but that yeah so i think book. it was four level one no, no. Literally just nope, that's the slots up. so that spell Got slots it. i mean actual spell choices because that's a different thing yeah if you just go extra slots because druids are different to wizards and different to sorcerers and different to bards because obviously why would you be the same? Um, if I quickly go to that just now, we'll go through that. So spell slots for druids, that's clerics, and then go forward. Druids, creating them, blah, 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 blah. Spell slots, preparing and casting. The druids table shows how many spell slots you have. We don't care about slots, it's the actual ones. So you prepare the list of druid spells that are available for you to cast, choosing from the spell list. When you do so, choose a number of druid spells equal to your wisdom modifier plus your druid level. What's your wisdom modifier? I can't quite see it right now. It should be right at the top of the screen. Does that mean that? Is it? Oh. You're halfway through leveling your character. Uh, so wisdom is 16. So 3 is the modifier. So plus 3, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, and your level is 6, so that is 9 total spells. How many do you have already? Also, you don't include the ones that are granted to you, so work out which ones are granted to you by being the type of person you are. That's your circle, right? Sure, yeah. So do you remember I sent you that document? Mm-hmm. Right, so you'll need that to see what ones are granted to you. Okay. And when you see that, we'll ignore those ones from the list, obviously. Although I don't think any of them are on this list. No, so that's one, what I was thinking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you have 12 here ticked, which is why it's 12 out of 9 spells chosen, which is why it's not letting you pick anymore, because you have too many. Some of these might be granted spells, but I doubt it because none of the granted spells that I'm aware you have are on this list. Okay. So you have too many spells. Okay. So that's why you can't pick any. Okay, I'll move on soon, but you probably sure. will find that... See, for example, if you look at your level 3 spells from this list on this page at the very, very bottom, see how you've got the first one and then you've got the second one there? That spell is probably a granted oh. spell. I just, yeah. don't, I just don't remember. I'll well, it shouldn't be on it. this list anyway. Um, yeah, I so must be having the same problem then. I'll double check, don't worry. Uh, just, you just need to look at what your classes give you automatically and what you just get um yeah I mean. sure so what i'll do is i'll just select something right now and then i'll decide what i actually wanted to have for my yeah because keep in mind you can just reselect all nine spells anyway because that's what druids yeah. can do every time they have a long rest they can just repick their entire their entire spells right so i'm loading up the the circle that you are just now Sure. Let's have a look. So, locate animals or plants doesn't count. Scorching ray doesn't count. Fireball doesn't count. Plant growth doesn't count. So those four, you can ignore. So if you want to untick those, I'm just going to paste them in our chat just now. So, bam. Paste that in chat just now. So those you can untick because we'll just re-add them in if we have to. Because they're automatic grants. So third, locate animal plants, scorching ray. I don't think I had those ticked. Yeah, I was going to say. So they're not ticked, right? Uh, uh -uh. Obviously, I put. That's, it's fine. What I so, did is I made it so that I'm at nine out of nine, mm -hmm. and I'll just click next so it allows me to go next, and I'll just know that I get nine spells plus those two, plus whatever I get from. Plus nine the, spells plus those four. That's your level. Yeah. Sorry. Not spell level. Yeah. Yeah. 
So at your third level, you get those first two, and then at fifth level, you get the second two, because you already have fireball and plant growth. Yeah. So those are just automatic for you. All right, you said you were having trouble, Scott? Yeah, it's again the same mm -hmm. thing where it's like, you can add five new spells, but I've got six out of five chosen already, so it's all grayed out. Yep, so what's granted to you by your oath? Uh, the, the, the Hunter's Mark is a whole... Uh, Hunter's Mark's whole in here person. already, as you can see. Yep. So you've got six yep. out of five spells chosen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But one, two, three, four... Yep, so this has actually worked out correct, so you still have one extra spell here for some reason. So you've got one too many. Because if you, if you look at your sheet, the spells page, see how they actually say Oath spell next to them? So your sheet's yeah. tracking everything properly, it's just because Arya's right, okay. class isn't actually in the book, or in Roll20 yet. So All right. The type of druid that she is. So, you you are cheating too. You've got one extra spell. I, I have command on, that's why, when that shouldn't be. Right, so untick that. Untick command, there we go. And then that's 5 out of 5. Now keep in mind you can change one of them if you want. No, I'm happy with the spells I've got. Okay, okay. Then you can go complete that. Sophie, were you having trouble with yours? Yeah, it's still not loading. Let me just have a look at your sheet then. when I go into a view it says I've gained a spell slot but I've not gained any spells like, what? but is that true yeah. do you not get any spells at your level like this have you looked at what you get on your table of being a rogue no slots and spells are different so yeah so you might not actually get any more let's have a look so rogue. But I thought I would have been able to have swapped them with something maybe you don't let's have a look dum 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 Right, so fifth level, you've got three cantrips known, four spells known, and three spell slots at level one. At sixth level, you have no, nothing changes between five and six for you. Nothing. So that's why there's nothing on that page. It says I thought you here, could have at least changed what spells you learn, though. Let's have a look. So let's see. You know three first level wizard spells of your choice, two of which must be chosen from enchantment and illusion spells on the wizard list. The spells known column uh, shows when you learn more wizard spells of first level. Each of these spells must be enchantment or illusion spell of your choice and must be of a level which you have spell slots. For instance, when you reach seventh level in this class, you can learn one new spell of first or second level. The spells you learn at eight, 14, and 20 can, be, can come from any school of magic. Whenever you gain a level in this class, you can replace one of the wizard spells you know with another spell of your choice from the, the wizard spell list. The new spell must be of a level for which you have spell slots, and it must be enchantment or illusion, uh, unless you're replacing the spell you gained at 8th, 14th, or 20th. So yeah, you can change it out. Um, just means you'll need to look at the wizard spell list once you've finished character you yeah, like, And then just delete and re-add, but there, you can go complete because I've closed the character sheet, so finish your, your level up, and then I'll have a look at that, so let's see I don't know what else you get I don't think you get much for an arcane trickster, but because obviously everybody gets stuff at different levels yeah yeah, I don't think you get much at six, unfortunately. Oh well. The only thing you really get is actually you get expertise. That's the thing you get. Did you click that? Did you go through it? Whatever expertise is. Yeah, I can't remember what I picked now. That. So it's two skills. Choose two of your skill proficiencies or one of your skill proficiencies and add your proficiency with thieves tools. Uh, your proficiency bonus was... is doubled for any ability check you make using that or the chosen proficiencies. And then at six level, you can choose two more of your proficiencies and skills, or with these tools to gain this benefit. So basically, you pick more skills to be better at for rolling. Yeah, I I did pick thieves' tools, and I think either acrobatics or athletics. I think. 
Okay, it should say on your character sheet. Did you finish leveling up there? Yeah. Okay, let me have a look at your sheet then. It's just I don't want to have people's sheets open when they're hitting apply because it fucks it up. Right, so you have... From what I can tell... If I click this... So did you say you picked acrobatics? I think so. It was one of the A's. <laughs> no, because that's just your proficiency plus your your mod anyway. So is this just... Let's see, your proficiency bonus is doubled for any check you make. You can choose two more proficiencies, blah 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 blah. It's half the feet on your right if it's a... F oh, okay. It's not a feet as such, it's like a... It's not, it should yeah. have it on this though. I don't know why that didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, because at 6th level you can choose two more of your proficiencies and skills. I would have needed to have seen your level up, to be honest, to have went through that, sadly. But I don't know why, because obviously that's not doubling your proficiency, because that should technically be adding 9, not 6. If that was one of the ones you chose. Mm. Does that make sense? thing is, yeah. you might have picked Thieves Tools twice, so, I don't know, let's just hit that and see what the hell happens on this. Uh, it looks like you've done that, maybe, because that's adding a 6, which is obviously adding your proficiency. Definitely. Well, I could only click it once. Was it this time you did it, though? Or was it last time? Because obviously at no, level 1, was, you pick that. There was two already highlighted that I couldn't select again. Mm -hmm. What were those, so, do you think? Do you remember? I can't remember. <laughs> I just know I couldn't pick them, so I was like, well, I guess I ain't picking them. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> stealth is one of them, because your stealth's at a fucking 9. Yeah. So stealth's definitely one. As for the rest... It might have been either perception or performance, maybe. I don't know. I think perception, definitely, because you don't have proficiency in... Where is it? Perception... You don't have anything in wisdom, sorry, so that is a 6. So that makes sense, because yeah. it's your proficiency bonus is a 3 at the moment, everything is. So it's mm. that plus... Well, it's 6 because it's doubling it. Anything else that you've got that's based on wisdom that gives you a 6? Where is that? Acrobatics is deck, so it's not acrobatics. Intelligence is rolling with a 5, so it's not that. Uh, what else have we got? What else is a high number here? It's not that one. It's not performance. It's not sleight of hand. Oh, it might be sleight of hand, actually. No, it's not. It's not sleight of hand at all. No. <laughs> Would Athletic. it have been athletics? It probably is athletics, because that's really high. Yeah, because you've not got... It's three plus that. Yeah, that's it. So it's athletics and arcana and your thieves tools. So the first time you picked it, it would have been thieves tools, probably. Yeah. Or this time you've picked thieves tools. No, it was this last... time I picked thieves. Cool. And last time it has been stealth and athletics. Good. That did all work out. As to why it's not in your expertise at the side, I don't know, but maybe it just doesn't care about tracking that. So do you want to add that in? And we'll just track yeah. that ourselves. So and just call it expertise and just list what you put in. At least we worked that out though, numbers and such. Hey. Um Reach, were you all good? Yeah, all good. I figured you would have yeah. been yeah. What did you get for yours? Uh well I can now do ranged uh fists are magic always. Yep. I've got magic fists. Mm -hmm. Uh I've got flaming hands as well. Uh nice. And I think that's what it is. Is this something about reading or something? About... Uh, yeah, I think that's that really. Yeah. So is it the Searing Arc Strike, which is new? Yeah. I assume that's Flaming Hands. Level 6, you gain the ability to yeah. channel your key into Searing Waves of Energy immediately after you take the attack on. Yeah, Burning Hands. That's you know, two key points yeah. to cast. Yeah. I'm just going to paste that in. Oh, I'm just going to try and read that again. Uh, points to cast as a bonus action. Spell. Each additional key point in the spell increases by level, maximum level key points. Two plus any additional points. It's pretty damn good, to be honest. It's a nice wee boostable AoE, yeah. actually. It's the only it's thing you were really kind of missing. 
close range, you can AI uh, multiple targets. That's, That's decent. Uh, what happens when you up the uh, the levels of that? Is it another D lever for damage? Yeah, so like if you type in Burning Hands to the actual chat, either the compendium even, sorry, Search. you'll see it, yeah. And it's um, at the bottom, when you cast this using a spell slot of second or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 for every spell slot above. Yeah, right, cool. Which is pretty good, to be honest. 3d6, when it pretty much guarantees damage, is decent. Because save for half, remember? So if you know yeah. somebody's got one health left and you need to kill them, otherwise they're going to, like, penta screw over the party. If they get a turn, you use something like that, so you can guarantee it. There's only a couple of things in the entire game that can like dodge things entirely, um, and those are very, very rare. Yeah. I think rogues, it's either a specific type of rogue or rogues in general, they can do a thing where they can like dodge entirely damage from AoE, stuff like that, like saves, like uncanny dodge I think it is. Uh, or evasion maybe. I forget which it is, but it's, I'm sure they can do something yeah, where they cool. don't take anything. Right, I think uh, any other levelling up questions we can answer now while we're here? I'm trying to drag and drop the proficiency into it and it's not having it anywhere. So For shall I just, what, sorry? Like the, you told me to add the proficiency. No, you've already got it, it's already built in. I said add it to your red text. Uh, yep. Don't have it on your your proficiency list. Just add it into your regex because it's a feature of your class. Um. So click the plus at the bottom of features and traits. Yeah. And then just type in expertise, and then you may as well just paste in the entire text that's in there. Yeah. So what's this for? Like athletics, uh, acrobatics. It was athletics and stealth. Remember. That you chose the first time round, and then oh, Dave still is the second. Yeah. If you add that in, that should be you. Do you know where to do that? Yeah. Source. B. It's from class. Yes. Yeah. And you can just say rogue for source type, I guess. Oh, so it's expertise, just call the whole thing expertise. Because that's what oh. it is. Yeah. And then... I've got high spell expertise. EXP, ERT, yeah, ISE. SE. Yep. Okay. And then it should... Expertise it should come up as a rogue rule. And then you should really just paste all that in. Which would be nice. I'm just going to look up rogues and see if I can just save you the typing. Classes, rogues. It's weird it doesn't automatically put that in there, but I guess Roll20 just didn't give a fuck about it. <laughs> uh, right. I apologies if this really bugs you, but I've just already done it for you. That's fine. And then if you only just put in brackets what you chose each time after it, so like after the first one I'll just put in some brackets for you. you can pop in there and then what you chose the second time. So it'll be stealth and athletics in the first set of brackets and then thieves tools in the second. That stealth thing is ridiculous by the way, fucking plus nine. <laughs> it's actually disgusting. The lowest you can roll as a failure is a ten. That's <laughs> Grossi, am I the only one here that can trick? That what, sorry? They can detect magic. I can detect other elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a racial can... thing, you you know if you're speaking to an elf, yeah. But um I can... Yeah, go for it. You can detect fiends. I can detect. Elves. I can detect other people if they're in the room. Yeah, well done. Not always. Stealth <laughs> <laughs> up, you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's Sophie. I mean, God, that's yeah. absolutely crazy rules. Um, but keep in mind that was only rolling what four. Where was the stealth roll? Sorry, it was. I was. I only rolled a fifteen, and she got twenty-four, and that's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Um, so if we could be in your tent with you and you wouldn't notice, mm -hmm. actually. 
Crazy. Your actual inventory list is disgusting, by the way, Sophie. That is just <laughs> absolutely disgusting. <sighs> Anyways, um, right. Anybody else got any level up questions, or are we good for leveling up? Good. All good? Yeah, I'm fine. Arya, any questions? All good? Maybe. Do we still have an Arya? Maybe muted. I was muted, sorry. Uh, I was just <laughs> saying, I'm just deleting spells here because I had. Remember, we agreed you don't delete things you can cast. Just add on ones you're picking and then use the red pips to donate the ones that you're going to have prepared for the day because you're going to end up cycling through all the spells anyway as a druid. I guess. Yeah. So basically, if you cycle through all the spells, you'll probably have the whole list on your page at one point and just have the red pips be the nine that you've got prepared. Yeah, I think that's why it was telling me I had too many because I had the list here. But It might be, but we might just have to suffer yeah. through that, to be honest. Sure, sure, sure. That's fine. So technically nine prepared, but the ones I get for my circle... They're they they're auto prepared, like... yeah. They're auto prepared, yeah. And I think I made you mark them okay. separately anyway. Um, I'm sure on your spell list they should be separate in terms of where are we? Yeah, here? we put an H in front of them. Yes, exactly. Cool. So anything with the H in front doesn't count. So unpip them because they're auto, unless it makes it easier for you. Prepared. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't use the red to track them because then that way you can just count nine red pips and that lets you know those are the ones you've got prepped. Brilliant. Yeah, that's much yeah. better. As I said, clerics work the same way as druids that way, and it's really kind of weird because you can always choose different spells every day. Makes it super useful because yeah. you have the whole list to choose from, but that's a lot of homework. <laughs> yeah, I know. And uh, obviously I do have... I bought the little druid cards um, that you can have to make it all more visual for me, mm -hmm. but then obviously now I have spells from other parts as well, and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it can get complicated, but I think that's all of us. So, I think if that's us all sorted cool. there, that is good. Also, I saw the, the spell you chose, that's crazy by the way, the spell you chose. So, hey. Uh, me? What? Huh? Yeah. I see no, what you added to your your list. Let's say. I've, I've added a couple of things. Yeah, I think you know the one I'm talking <laughs> about. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it is it just I'm... end game? It's it AOE. It's a good AOE, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. Anyway, so I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't my own inspiration. I did do a bit of research to try to figure out what's what's good. That's fine. So I can't take credit. Uh, let's do a wrap up chat then guys, because uh, we've done mm. goals. Uh, does anybody have a goal in mind that they would like to replace goal slot three with? Anyone? Not that I can think of right now. Are you Mark Inspiration? Make sure that box is ticked if it isn't already. Yes, 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 my bad. Yes, it's okay. not. Good, good. Uh, yeah. Arya is really cool, but Adrian's a bit of an mm -hmm. idiot sometimes. It's okay. MD got a goal idea? Um. Like, all of you have something slotted it. already, but like it's up to you guys. Keep in mind, it gives me a week to prepare the goal. If you used to give me it now. Yeah, I'll definitely have a think about one that we could use. Um, but right now, nothing's really coming to mind. Reach, Kitty, Arya, Goal, anything comes to mind? Have you got something about talk to the Dwarf King at the moment? We uh, do you've got we? get yeah. the Dwarves to help the Citadel at the moment. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, learn about dragons. You want to learn learn how things? to <laughs> persuade a dragon to uh, help us. Uh, how to train a dragon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, yeah. Uh, if you want that to be a, dragon, uh, a goal, you can have that, yeah. yeah. We need to think about it, but yeah, it's just an idea. But yeah, I'll just leave it in there just now. How to persuade a dragon. And um, we can talk about goals next week as well. Um, uh -huh. Right, if that's the case then, let's do a wrap-up chat. Arya, do you want to start us off? Um, sure. So, um, I very much like the fact that, uh, as always, I see you absolutely, like, you know, there were times in which I'm, like, absolutely useless in combat and stuff happens and suddenly I'm, like, kick-ass. It seems to be in line with what Arya always does. 
<laughs> I, I like to think of her as some like, you know, kind of rusty machine thing that always needs to wind up a little bit before it's any <laughs> school to anybody. So I, I, I'm, I'm actually amused because every single time I roll like this, I'm also very curious what on earth happened here. If these are just thieves or if there's a thing behind this. So I'm also very curious from that point of view. So yeah, can't wait for next session because of that. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Crumber? Uh, I like that Arya has finally learned Infernal. Yes. Yes! Because... <laughs> now it can open up a lot more stuff. Mm -hmm. that what I, like I did cool. say, we'll probably be crackle crackle around everybybody when mm -hmm. we don't uh, understand. So probably yeah. gonna be yeah. like. <laughs> I mean, um, I, don't get me wrong. I would actually really like to make her a bit of a T-lingual, even more so than she is right now, sort of person. Yeah, why not? You wanna get more into? Do you know do draconic? You? <laughs> Does anybody know draconic? Open. I think Crumber no. no? no. that big problem going no. to negotiate with the dragon and nobody can speak its language. Let oh, us iconic. ask you for help, however, oh, please shit, speak I to us. That. <laughs> yeah, let's <was gonna> see. Actually, I don't I know Yeah. I do. Yeah, good point. I do. I was going to say, like, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a language you most, like, most, if not uh, some of you had. Um, yeah, yeah. I imagine the golden not, dragon. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you both like that was the same conversation I had with both you and Scott. Stu, so was there the you want to pick draconic as a language given that you're gonna be part of the golden order? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might have come in useful now and again. Maybe. Yeah, that's, Aye. That's okay. <laughs> Especially when you actually meet the guy in charge, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, anything else you want to, Scott? Um, glad that I finally started using blood pact. Oh, being yeah. Like, yeah. The blood price mm, move like, is disgusting, yeah, for, yeah, to be honest. It, Especially when you couple it, it with really. your feet. Yep. Yep. Yeah, as but I said, it, I built that. Sadly, entire... we didn't get a chance to do. I built that thing entirely, obviously, the, the blood price weapon. The blood debt, sorry. But mm -hmm. I don't think it's broken yet. As I said, I reserve right to alter that if I change my mind. Um, <laughs> but I don't think it is yet. But it is very much a case of the damage to yourself is the balance I find to that. So. Oh yeah, no, because that that is like that's the only reason I ended up using it today was because mm -hmm. I'm like, there is one guy left. Mm -hmm. I've got bless. I've got Everin. If I'm going to make this hit, now's the time. I was going to say, if you hadn't as well, if that guy got his three attacks into you, you might have been a goner. Oh yeah, I would have been gone. Plus the thing that I'd missed as well was the thing where he can just do more damage if he hits you. Um, which I actually yeah. didn't see because of the coding. Which Stu's really happy about. Um, yeah. yeah. I can stop hacking roll 20 now. <laughs> yeah, I need okay. yeah. <laughs> stop fucking DOS boxing it. <laughs> um, what about yourself, Kitleth? I was quite excited to get more storage space with the horse. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. It, seemed, it was just inventory management, <laughs> the game for you, isn't it, really? <laughs> you need to get it yourself really a bag of holding. Real. That's what you need to get. That's what you need to ask yeah. somebody for, or make one, or whatever, go on a quest. Boy. Yeah. I've got 36 relations, by the way. I could do a share on these out now, you know. That's, but, yeah, yeah that's... to be fair, I'll do the journey math at the end. I don't really want to do it yeah. during the game just now because when you hit Anvil, we'll retroactively work out what you would have spent based on survival rules. Because keep in mind, yeah. your two outlanders, when there is food available, which there will be all the way to Anvil, they can get food and water and whatnot. It's only if there would have been a, you know, cause for alarm that you couldn't get that, like a failed survival rule. Um, you would need to actually eat your own rations. So, you will be definitely fine to get up to Anvil. I don't see that being an issue, even if you've failed every survival check. Use of rations galore. Keep in mind that they're going to go down faster because of horses. Um, Hello, but, Goodberry. Well, well, again, like you've got a druid, right? So, yeah. but water is a problem as well. So it depends. It just depends how much of your magic you're willing to expend um, along the way, because obviously that might affect combat readiness. Um, choosing the watch order is important because of armor, obviously as well. So maybe you want to look at down the lane getting armor that can equip quite easily. 
Um, those exist, but they're probably very fucking expensive. But you are starting to pile up your your money, so it's not terrible. Yeah, I think I think what's going to come next is magic armor, or I'm definitely going to need to look into it. Yeah. Or investing in businesses or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do yeah. Start to work on the property market. Yeah, <laughs> handrails, all, roads, etc. Yeah. Put it all in dwarf coin. Street lighting for the roads. Um, but yeah. Cat size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, horrible, horrible. Uh, glue cats to the road. Kitless is nice when add besides inventory nice. management. Yeah. It was nice to be able to fight stuff again. Yeah, yeah, pretty easily as well, to be honest, because that went smoothly for you guys, really. It did. But that was pretty much because of your ability to stun, right? That also helped a big deal. Yeah. That, plus bless, plus just general badass good rolls and all the advantages, and yeah. Yeah, but that's what like a well-oiled machine can do, right? Yeah. yeah. It really was. That's exactly what it felt like. I was I'm, beginning to wonder about that last guy. Is he not dead yet? Is he not dead yet? <laughs> Come on. He, he was a very tough one. That's like, I'll be honest, the XP split, right? So those two individual guys were worth 100 each XP, and he was worth 2,300. Wow. He was the threat. But then you see what he did to Reach. Reach would have been down if he'd managed to get his three attacks in, and I'd remembered the extra damage move. Mm -hmm. So Reach would have been down, and then nobody got stunned, right? So. You've all got a bunch of free attacks with advantage on the dude, so that was why Reach is going to be super useful for stunning people. I like stun. It's just a great move. Monks are brilliant for fights, to be honest. Um, but that's their job, really. They don't really have much beyond that. That's kind of their job. Punch and stun. Everybody murder him, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, but because you get to that's attacks right, and their mobility, it's disgusting. It's a good build. Um, and they're more mobile, actually, now. Another five foot. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Is that so, just from level yes. six? Yeah, yes. Yeah. How so? How does that work? That's crazy. That's quite a lot. So that's 55 plus if I wanted to do double that 110. Yeah. It's a lot of movement, isn't it? So. Dear God, it is as well. Yeah. Your additional unarmored movement is a plus 15 now. Plus 15. Dear in, gods. In <laughs> yeah. So 55? Yeah, You're a 55 across, movie yeah. boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Monks. There's a lot in it. I don't know. Considering it, like, as soon as you hit, was it level 18? It's plus 30 is the general upgrade, which is crazy. So, right. that's mad. Um, you're almost a, a full tabaxi turn. Almost. <laughs> which is mad, because <laughs> they have to take a, they can take a turn and double their whole movement. Um, but then they have to move zero on their next turn to recharge it. But, you're almost at that every turn. Um, huh. But that's monks again, that's their job, right? Being mobile. And your mobility feet yeah. just lets you dodge reactions, which is nice. Um, as much as I want. Yeah. What about yourself, Reach? Yeah. Enjoyable chat. It was good to have a fight again. I'd have, personally, I'd have gone the safe route, but nah, I enjoyed the fight. It was good. Mm -hmm. And I survived with 13 hit points or so, but I did survive, so that's good. It was also a bit above what you were meant to be able to take on as well. I just threw in extra stuff because I wanted right. more targets. Uh, the thing suggested just the dude in the middle to me. Um, really? So I added in the other two. Um, the dude in the middle was considered a medium fight, but again, if he didn't have the stuns landing, he would have had yeah. three attacks every turn. So, yeah. And not everybody would have had advantage on him, only you, Scott. Granted, only you needed it right enough because of your ridiculous combo mm -hmm. that you have. Your murder thyself and thy neighbour combo. But, I like it was a very good... But again, this is the stuff I can throw at you guys now because you have abilities that sync up. Because you stunning people gives Kitty advantage. And you don't even have to be near them, which is brilliant. Um, and then she can get sneak attack on them, which is more damage if she lands it. And then you've got, obviously, Crumbar with his ability to just go ham on damage output and also, you know, vow of enmity, etc. Like, it's... The combos are crazy. Yeah. And then you've got your, your fucking Mistress of the Flame in the background cackling away. Um, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> still unresolved plot point. Yeah. Um, no, it was good. It was good. He's also got a decent amount of loot from some trading caravans and some, some dead people. 
a as yet identified. But we'll pick up from obviously the morning, I guess, and we'll we'll see how far we travel without any other bullshit happening to us. But level six as well, guys, not bad. Um, not bad at all, and we're all still alive. Depending on how quick we get to level seven, will depend on if I feel like the up goal XP is worth keeping or not. But I think so far I'm happy with it. But it depends how quick we get to level seven. But yeah, uh, besides that, does anybody else have anything else to want to add? Nope. Nope, good. I'm good nice. here as well. So thanks, guys, for playing, and we'll catch up with everybody next time. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye.